Today we're going to look at this, the melted receptacle that we replaced on the Variac last week, and also this, the plug that was a casualty of that receptacle, and also this, a domestic Chinese power bar that has the same sort of multi-plug style receptacles in it, but which are actually built way better than the one that melted. So the interesting thing is, is if we look at the receptacle, which is of course nicely visible since I chipped away all the plastic around it, if we plug in a North American plug, what you can see is that the only part of the receptacle that touches the plug is the inner part of the contacts right there. In fact, it's actually putting a lot of outward pressure on the two blades of the plug and you can sort of imagine that if this plastic were to get hot the blades would just sort of bend outwards and contact the inner parts of the receptacle even less and probably get even hotter and in fact that's actually what happened to our original plug which if you look at it you can see that well this pin here looks like it's really discolored so it probably got the hottest but yet somehow this pin seems to have been bent off to the side and we sort of look at it at the end this pin is going this way this one is going this way and they're both going out a bit let's see what they look like if we plug them into the socket and that's ground down here so I'm just going to push it in like that and well there you go um, this pin has clearly been pushed out over here and actually barely touches the inner contact this one also is just feebly touching that inner contact and you can just imagine that as the socket started to melt and the plug started to melt the contacts just got worse and worse and worse and maybe the only thing that stopped this pin from bending even further in this direction was the outer part of the socket so really the bad part of the design is it's pushing the pins apart and it's only contacting the pins on one side so there isn't necessarily that much pressure either now what happens if we try a German Schuko plug in it well the opposite happens and what you can sort of see is the plug is essentially only touching the metal on the outside of the connectors the inner parts of the connectors are barely or not touching the pins of the plug the one thing that makes the German plug better for this is the plug itself is much more rigid and the plastic is much more solid than the North American one so it can certainly handle the pressure but once again you have a very small contact area and a single-sided contact area between the receptacle and the plug and so it really wouldn't be very good for any significant amounts of current now the interesting thing is the power bar over here and it has a very similar receptacle to the one on the Variac. In fact, the only difference is we're missing the ground, the North American ground hole up here, but the lower part is really exactly the way it was on the Variac. But if I plug the German plug in, it takes quite a bit more pressure to go in and is clearly gripped quite a bit better. And if we try it with the North American plug, the same thing it's really in quite solid and if we look at it with the microscope what we can see is on this side of the plug we have two concave metal contacts that nicely fit around the pins of the German plug and we also have a rather flat contact over here that fits against the pin of the North American plug but the neat thing is the sides of the German contacts here 
form the other connection to the outer part of the North American plug. And so it actually makes a very good contact. So I'm quite impressed. In fact, I'm very impressed with this power bar. I was actually thinking of taking it apart and using a Dremel so we could look inside here, but it's so good. I'm going to keep it in case I have any weird foreign stuff I need to plug in. So there you have it, two Chinese receptacles, one poorly built, one quite excellently built, which goes to show you not everything from China is cheap. In fact, one of the viewers did tell me that a lot of the stuff made for domestic use in China is actually very high quality, much more so than a lot of the stuff that is exported, which probably means in an export market they're more having to compete with price than they are domestically. So a very interesting and unexpected result. I'm actually quite happy to have this power bar now because I'm quite confident that if I have any weird foreign plugs that I need to plug in, it'll actually make good contact with them, even if, in the case of a German plug anyway, I don't get a ground. So that brings this video to an end. I hope you find it interesting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.